Hey everybody, it's Audrey and I am here to do a um, unboxing of the March Hip Kit Club kit. And I cannot tell you how fast that this package gets from me to me um, all the way from Washington all the way over to here on the East Coast. So super, super fast. I think it was like two days. So I'm super excited to share the March kit with you. So I haven't opened it up yet. Really, I honestly have. I know I cut it, but it's not open yet. So I got a different, a couple of the add-ons this month too. So I will go through those in a minute. Let me get to the main kit. So I got the main kit and I also got the um, uh, Project Life add-on and the embellishment add-on. So let's go through the main kit first. So this is the March 2018 main kit. So excited, this is the best day of the month. Okay, um, we have some Jen Hadfield die cuts. Oh good, I'm glad when they have on the back what the pictures are of. So some flamingos, um, some fruits, some balloons, cute little banner. I like the little wood grain bits. Those butterflies look like they might be foiled and I bet that they are. Yes, there are some foiled bits in here. I might as well take a couple out to look. Yes, oh these are all foiled. I don't know if you can see that. Really pretty. That's cute. Oh yeah, here's those pretty butterflies. All foiled. Great little sayings. I love those. Adorable. Perfect for spring. Oh, and look at these. Oh, these are super cool. So these are like, you can see through them, first of all. They're transparent. And they have darker areas of color. That's like a little bit of a gold foil, but they're layered. So they have like a foam square in the back and they're layered with two layers of acetate. So I'm just gonna take one off. So I don't know if you can see that there. So I imagine when I put these on my pages that I'm going to be like folding these up a little bit more. Yeah, like that. So that you can see the, maybe not that, <laughs> maybe not that much, but to get a little pop, some dimension there. Those are really, really pretty. I like, like them a lot. I like those a lot. Okay, these are great because, first of all, wood grain goes with every single season. Wood grain goes with spring and flowers. Wood grain goes with, like, waves and beach and sand. And wood grain, of course, goes with fall and leaves. And wood grain can go with Christmas. And these phrases, like, thanks, I mean, celebrate, they can go with any theme. So those are super awesome. Those are also from, or actually, I don't know if those go with the Pebbles collection or not. But. And these are from Maggie Holmes. And I forget what this collection is called. Is this the Flourish? Yeah, this is the Flourish collection. Squirrel. <laughs> uh, we, we always make that reference to squirrels because, you know, from the movie um, Up and, you know, the dog sees the squirrel. Anyway, um, pretty peacock. Love these colors. Pretty flowers. Oh yeah, this goes with that. This pa pattern paper was in last month's kit. So if you got February's kit, some of these would go great with some of the February papers and embellishments too. Some more bugs, a cute bunny. That would be perfect for Easter and more springy type things. And some of these are are um, gold, not gold, uh, what am I, rose gold. Have a rose gold foiling on them. So those are really pretty. Speaking of rose gold, these, go I love rose gold. Gorgeous rose gold alphas. And now let's get to the pattern papers. So this is from Chamel's new line, Box of Crayons. That's really pretty. That would make a great boy page. Um, some quail or partridges, I'm not sure. I'm not um, that familiar with my pheasant pheasant <laughs> types of birds, but it says songbird, but that is not a songbird. That's definitely a quail or something. Uh, pretty pink on the back. Ooh, this is so cool. Super pretty. This is Dear Lizzie. Stay colorful collection. Ooh, that is a bright yellow. Oh, look, they're little stars. That's super cute. And I love this piece of paper. I, I could not wait to see this piece of paper in its entirety because hello, fussy cutting. 
uh, yeah, I'll be fussy cutting out those. And I love the daisies. I don't, you don't really see like white daisies like that with the yellow centers. Oh, cute. Sprinkles. Perfect for ice cream. I love lemons. This is really pretty. I just love those colors. The pink pattern there, the B side. So this one, this is from Flourish, Maggie Holmes. This is from the Jen Hadfield Patio Party. So it's nice to see brown in a kit. So this is, I'm not sure if you can really see that color very well, but it's kind of, it's a dark brown. It's not black, it's not blue, it's a dark brown, really pretty. Another one from Maggie Holmes Flourish. That's really pretty. I'd probably be using that as a background. Faux show. Some more geometric shapes. Love that too. This is from Paige Evans. Pick me up. Pretty peach color. See, like to me, I know I know sometimes you can look at these kits and you know you see a lot of flowers and stuff and flourishy things, but there are really a lot of things that you can use to make more, you know, boyish pages and um, you just gotta find it in there. And lastly, this really pretty butterfly paper. You can fussy cut those out too. And some more brown on the back. So let me just go through those one more time. I'm kind of going out of order here because I mixed them up. So you can see all the papers. So pretty. Lots of possibilities. Lots of possibilities. Um, so you ha for your embellishments for the main kit, you have these stickers, you have these stickers, you have these titles, you have these butterflies, and you have these die cuts. Lots to work with. All right, so that's the main kit. Let's move on to the embellishment add-on. So this is the embellishment add-on. Oh, I could not wait to see these in person too. These are just beautiful. So they are safety pins with this little leaf design on there. And it's not that the leaf, the leaves are not like glued on. They're actually part of the metal and cut out like that. Those are amazing. These are cute too, these little banner ribbon pack. Nice to see that. That's something totally different that we don't usually have. So a ribbon, a little stitched banner, twine, and some, I want to say Rick Rack, but it's not Rick Rack. It's just kind of zigzag sticker tape. This is Maggie Holmes um, Ephemera also with the rose gold. Really pretty. There's a look, a lot of tags and square items, a couple phrases. Very beautiful. Pink Fresh Studios, layered stickers. So those have some dimension. I don't know if you can see that very well in the package, but they have um, some hearts and flowers. So a couple layers there. Chipboard from Pink Fresh Studio. Is there two? Oh yeah, there's a back too. I love those oval frames. So pretty. Also rose gold on there. And more thickers, which I don't, I can't tell if these are like a canvas that you could paint or something. No, they're not. They kind of look like canvas. They have a, but it's printed to look like a canvas. So it's not an actual canvas. It's just printed to look like a canvas. But you could still distress them, I guess, paint them or whatever. But those are really pretty. These would look good because there's a lot of dark backgrounds in the papers, like the dark browns. It's nice to have a lighter, um, lighter font for, or lighter alpha for the, um, for the dark background papers. Okay, so that's the embellishment add-on. And lastly, I got the Project Life add-on. So I did not get, and so not shown in this video, uh, are the cardstock add-ons, the extra paper add-on, and the color kit. I did not get those items this month, but you can still, should still go check them out on the Pink Fresh, or Pink Fresh, on the <laughs> Kit Club blog. I'm saying Pink Fresh because I just looked at the package that said Pink Fresh. Um, okay, so these are some enamel dots from Pink Fresh. So this is the Project Life kit. Oh, these are neat. Fabric. They're fabric die cuts. Very cool. I love the little frayed bits in there. That adds some nice texture. Super cute. And I don't know if they're self-adhesive or not. Let me take a look. Um, they might be. Let's see. If I can get this open here. I think they are. I think this paper peels off. Maybe not. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to say that they don't. And then I'm going to go put them on a layout. 
and realize if they do. Okay, I guess they're not self-adhesive. I guess it's just paper on the back. Um, if anybody finds differently, <laughs> I, if they are self-adhesive, I can't get the paper off. So I don't think they're intended to be self-adhesive. And it does not say, but, um, so you do, you will need adhesive to stick those on, but that's fine. Regular glue should work. Oops, one of those fell out. Um, and these are rub -ons, a gold. Those are really pretty. Those are from One Canoe 2. I love seeing moths. I, I really love butterflies and moths, so I love seeing moths instead of butterflies. If you, I, I, I can tell the difference between a moth and the butterfly, so <laughs> I like seeing moths from a change for a change. Uh, some cute phrases and sayings. These are Maggie Holmes stickers. Four sheets here, so some phrase stickers, some labels, and then we have a gold alpha. Some more phrases and white labels, and another kind of scripty. That's pretty. Rose gold in the bottom there, black. These are some of my favorite alphas. I loved getting these in the past couple kits. They're perfect size. I love the puffy stickers. I love the finish on them, that they're more of a matte finish than a shiny finish. These are great. And then the um, Simple Stories I Am chipboard accents. Very cute. This is a great, this is a great mix of manufacturers here. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. Super great collection. And then these are the Project Life cards, the kit, which I don't do Project Life personally. I often use these cards for journaling and stick them behind a photo, or sometimes they have things on them that I like to cut out. So I'll just flip through these really quick. This is cute. So like I might, for example, take a circle punch and just punch this out and use it as an embellishment on my page. That's really cool. I might layer that behind a photo. The same thing with this one same thing with that one <laughs> again I might just cut that out or even use this for like a little border on a photo so these are cute and these colors I love, love, love this green it's like a pistachio green that matches that floral paper that's really pretty cute and then these are the four by six cards oh, those are pretty I'd probably cut those out. Oh, that's nice too. This reminds me of like, in, in a good way, <laughs> like 60s vintage bed sheets. Like I remember my grandmother used to have these really f bright floral pattern bed sheets and this pattern reminds me of that. And I love, love that look. That's cool, watercolor. So there you have it. So this was the uh, Project Life kit. And we had the embellishment kit and we had the main kit. So go check out the store so you can see the paper add-on, the cardstock add-on, and the color add-on as well. And hope you enjoy. Guess what I'm doing right now? Digging into this pile. So thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.